Yeah, so you know, we was we, we was born in hip hop basically. We live in the building where the pioneer hip hop was cool hurt. And he lived on the second floor. We lived on the third floor. We we did all the parties like break dancing. We brought out the crates and all that. We was really really young. My older brothers was the ones on that yeah, at that time. And then my moms and pops broke up. At, you know, I me, mean, my brother D was about eight, seven and eight. And then uh, we went on to another journey in our chapter. And I like when we got out of jail, we we started we hitting the streets. We, we you know we, we we just you know I had I was I was hustling up in Mount Vernon, New York, and right. um, heavy we know Puffy and Heavy D and all them. And they he was um they were what well, they was they they the one that you know Heavy D rest in peace. He he, he inspired me man because I seen him before he was who he was and and him mm -hmm. and Puff. And I see have in front of Shabazz restaurant. He pulls up at, at three three white white Benzes or, or in a Range Rover. And he tell he he I mean, he talking to me about his brother. His brother's in the street hustling with us. And I'm like yo yo your brother good. He with us. We gonna make we gonna make sure he good. You know he's like yo my mom is freaking out because our last my other brother just got you know killed in this city. So we said we good. We gonna handle that. But I, after we had that, I had that conversation with that. I said, listen, this is the situation. I need to get out of these streets. I want to get on in this music business. What's up? So he, you know, Heavy D said, listen, he said, I ain't promising you anything, anything or guaranteeing you. Sh he said, you get an artist you believe in, you make hits and the industry come to you. I said, that's it. He said, that's it. And that was the, that, that was the fuel of the fire. And my man Tip was with me and he had the cassette because I didn't even know he was into it. You know, artists and stuff like you got artists. He knew he pulled the cassette out. Said, "Yo, Hev, I got the hardest artist from Yonkers right here." And he gave it to Heavy. Heavy gave it to me. It was game time. After that, I I put the mu music in my 300 ZX. I'm listening to it. I went straight over there to see X. I went. In, you know, we went in for we went in for the kill. You know, we start working every since. I love it.